we are going to discuss ambiguous grammars and making them unambiguous making them unambiguous okay so let's take few examples start with few examples suppose e drives e plus e right and e star e and id okay so suppose this is the given grammar to us and we want to generate something like this we want to generate this expression using this grammar okay so now if we if we try to draw the parse tree so we will get something like this e plus e and here the id here also id and e will generate id so we will get this one parse tree and we can also get another parse tree like this Right, so we are getting uh, more than one pass tree for the single expression, right? But which one is correct here? If we see carefully, in this expression, first we are calculating the leftmost plus operator, and then we are calculating the other other operator, other plus operator, right? So as per this expression, this should be the correct pass tree, and this is not, right? So, so we can see here as this is calculating this leftmost operator first then we are calculating this right so now let's take one more expression id plus id star id suppose we want to generate this expression now so if we try to draw the parse tree, we will get something like this e plus e and we are using this grammar only, right? So we will get something like this id, we will generate id and id and we will also get this parse tree right so we are also we are getting more than one parse tree for this expression as well so we can clearly say that this this grammar is this grammar is ambiguous grammar right this grammar is ambiguous grammar now suppose if i write something like this e drives e plus id and id Suppose this is the grammar and we want to generate this, this expression from this grammar. So if we try to do that, so we will get something like this as the parse tree, e plus id, e plus id and here also id, right. So we are getting only one parse tree, right. We are not getting more than one parse tree using this grammar to generate this expression. So we can say this grammar is unambiguous. So we have converted this ambiguous grammar. We are not uh, considering this production. We are considering this one and this one. So we have converted this grammar into unambiguous grammar and we can generate the same expression like this, right? Using this parse tree. Now, the next thing I want to tell you here is suppose this is the expression this is the grammar right so now if you see carefully this leftmost this leftmost symbol in the RHS this is RHS right hand side so left when the leftmost symbol in the RHS is same as the LHS then that production or that grammar we call as left recursive left recursive clear whenever the leftmost symbol in the RHS is same as the LHS here e is in the leftmost symbol is E and LHS is also E so we can say 
this production or this grammar is left recursive clear now i would like to mention here a important point if the grammar if the grammar is left recursive if the grammar is left recursive then this operator which is associated here then this plus operator in this case this is plus operator so the operator is having left associativity is having left associativity clear so whenever the grammar is left recursive and we know how to check whether it is left recursive or right recursive left recursive means when the leftmost symbol in the rhs is same as the lhs then the grammar is left recursive and when the grammar is left recursive then the operator will be having left associativity so you know what is associativity we always talk about associativity when we are talking about the same operators suppose we are having this expression id plus id plus id right suppose we are calculating this first so that means this plus operator this plus operator is having left associativity because we are calculating this left operator first then we are calculating this one right so whenever we talk about associativity that means we are talking about similar operators and whenever we talk about precedence whenever we talk about precedence then we are we are talking about different operators maybe star plus or star exponential or plus minus so when we talk about precedence that means we are talking about different operators clear now let's take more examples suppose we have something like this e derives e plus t or t t derives t star f or f and f derives id suppose this is the given grammar to us okay now as we can see here the leftmost symbol is same as the lhs so we can say that this is left recursive this is left recursive and because this is left recursive therefore this plus operator this plus operator will be having left associativity right now see this production this is also left recursive this is also left recursive so we can say the star operator is also having left associativity clear now so we have only two operators clear now if we talk about if we talk about the precedence let's talk about the precedence so now you should remember here is the operator which is closest to the start symbol this is start symbol right e here is start symbol so whenever the operator the operator which is closest to the start symbol will be having least precedence okay so we can write it here is operator closest to the start symbol and we have only one start symbol the first symbol on the left 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 hand side that is the start symbol so the operator closest to the start symbol will be having least precedence least precedence clear and second point is the operator which is farthest farthest from the start symbol will be having highest precedence will be having highest precedence so now here we can say that we can say that this plus operator will be having the least precedence because it is closest to the start symbol right so we can like something like this this is the symbol for donating the precedence like which if the open side that means that is having the higher precedence closed side that means that is having the least precedence so here plus is having the least precedence and star is having the highest precedence because star is farthest from the start symbol so we can write this this is the precedence order for these two operators according to this grammar clear 
So operator closest to the start symbol will be having least precedence. Operator farthest from the start symbol will be having the highest precedence. Clear?